Transfer Tech, where every day is a quest to find the newest technology and video games. With this being a new channel, we really appreciate your support. So do us a favor and like, subscribe, share, and comment below. And here we go. All right, friends, so we have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 4G on the left and the Note 20 5G on the right, both for T-Mobile. So you see we've got the 5G on the right, got the 4G on the left. And we just jumped to fast.com for our test. We'll see which is faster, T-Mobile 4G or T-Mobile 5G. Now already the 4G is giving us, the 4G on the Note 10 Plus is coming in at 18 megabytes per second. And the Note 25G is still loading. And already it's looking like the 5G speed, at least for where we are, is much slower than the 4G. Let's see what it comes up with at the end. Wow, 1.8 megabytes per second for 5G and 18 for 4G. So let's do it one more time. This time I'll hit the Note 25G first. Then I'll hit the Note 10 4G second. And still, you can see that the 4G, Note 10 Plus 4G for T-Mobile has finished already with 16 megabytes per second. And the Note 20 5G on T-Mobile is still trying to figure out which speed it's going to finish at, but it's not looking too good. Well, I don't know what happened, but it dropped way below. We were around 3.4 megabytes per second. Now it dropped down to 170 kilobytes per second. That's not even a meg per second. Wow, we'll do one more test. Third time's a charm. Let's reverse them. All right. So on the left, we have the Note 20 5G. And on the right, we have the Note 10 Plus 4G. So get the Note 5G started and then the Note 10 Plus 4G started. And again, the Note 4G, the Note 10 Plus 4G has finished already ahead of the Note 25G. Finished with 4.8 megabytes per second. And then the Note 20 5G is still trying to figure out what it's gonna do. Hovering around 750 kilobytes per second. Let's see what it finishes with. Definitely speed this video up. So, all right, then it did just jump. It is just jumping back up to megabytes per second now. Speeding up a little. All right, and it finished at 1.7 megabytes per second. So a little bit closer, but still, of course, it matters where we are. We are in the house right now. We will do another test outside and switch areas to see. But for the first test, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus on T-Mobile 4G beat out the Galaxy Note 20 on T-Mobile 5G. We'll be back. Now we're gonna try the inside test one more time using the Speed Test app. All right, so on the right is uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus 4G, and on the left is the Galaxy Note 20 5G. All right, so now we're gonna try this again 
using the speedtest.net app. On the left is the Note 25 g on the right is the Note 10 Plus 4G. Again, both using T-Mobile's 4G and 5G network. And for point of reference, we are in a suburb just outside of Chicago. So on the right, the Note 10 Plus finished up at 6.5 megabytes per second download. And then the Note 25G finished up with 12.7 megabytes per second download. All right, so using the speedtest.net app, the Note 25G on the left and the Note 10 Plus 4G on the right. So the Note 10 Plus finished up with 10 megabytes per second. And that's on the 4G network. And the Note 20 5G is still trying to connect. All right, finally connected. Let's see what it gets. Wow, it's actually basically a tie. So the Note 25G got 10.9 megabytes per second download and the Note 10 Plus 4G got 10.10. .10. Now it did take longer for the Note 25G to actually connect to the network to run the test. So not sure how we want to rate that in, but let's do it one more time, we'll hit Test again on the Note 20 5G and then hit test again on the Note 10 Plus. And again, the Note, the Note 10 Plus 4G is already connected and approaching 20 megabytes per second while, while the Note 20 5G <laughs> is still trying to connect to the T-Mobile 5G network and the Note 20 or the Note 10 Plus finishes with 20.24 megabytes per second download and again the Note 10 did which one I mean, okay Note 20. <laughs> the Note 10 Plus finished with 20.24 megabytes per second download and then the Note 20 5G finally connected and finished with 3.80 download on the 5G network. So again, I guess we're seeing that now running the speed test in the same spot um, from two different speed test apps, the Note 10 Plus 4G is actually getting faster download speeds than the Note 20 5G on the T-Mobile network, inside the house, suburbs outside of Chicago. So what we'll do is we'll do another test outside and we'll see if that still holds true. All right, thanks friends. We'll see you, the, we'll see you on the next test. All right friends, we are in another spot. Gonna try to do this 4G, 5G test again. On the right, we have the Galaxy Note 25G. On the left, we have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 4G, and let's just see which one is faster. Now on this one, when we move spots, the 5G destroys the 4G. The Galaxy Note 20 is getting 34.5 download, and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is at 6.6 .6 download. Let's try and run it one more time. On the left, we have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus on T-Mobile 4G. On the right, 
the Galaxy Note 20 5G. Taking a while for the 5G to connect. And the Note 10 Plus 4G has already finished with a speed of 7.10 megabytes per second. And the 5G Note 20 is just now connecting. And whereas before it was over 30 megabytes per second, now it's not even getting a half of a megabyte per second. Wow. So it finished with 0.54 megabytes per second. Wow. Let's do one more. Note 25G on the right. Note 10 plus 4G on the left. Again, 5G has taken a while to connect when the first time it connected right away. But once it does connect, we're at about 30 megabytes per second on the Note 20 5G. On the left, the Note 10 Plus finished with 6.69 megabytes per second. And the Note 20 5G just finished with 34.9 megabytes per second upload so again 5g wins after it finally decided to connect one more speed test from fast.com on the right is the note 25g on the left is the note 10 plus 4g so on the left the note 10 plus 4G finished at 5.3 megabytes per second. And on the right, the Note 20 5G finished with 27 megabytes per second. Let's do one more test. We'll restart it and restart it. On the left, it's the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 4G. And on the right, the Galaxy Note 20 5G. On the left, the Note 10 Plus 4G finished already at 6.1. And on the right, the Galaxy Note 20 5G finished with 14. So the Note 10 Plus finishes at 6.1 megabytes per second. And the Note 20 5G finishes with 14 megabytes per second. So overall, what I think we're looking at is 5G's taken a little bit longer to connect, but in a different spot of the house, it definitely beat out the 4G as far as megabytes per second download. But it is seeming that it's a little unreliable because we did pull some tests where the 4G was faster than the 5G and the 5G wouldn't even reach one megabyte per second. So, when 5G works, it is faster, but it is still not totally reliable just yet, at least in the house through the T-Mobile network. We will be back with some more tests at different spots of the city and outside to continue doing the comparison. Thanks everybody. Never stop questing.